Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to play NES games on your 3DS using the Virtua NES emulator. Now, the other method of getting NES games on your 3DS would be to get a CIA file to play them right from your 3DS menu. If you'd rather do that, there'll be a link down below on how. But remember, if you do that method using the CIA file, getting it onto your home screen, there is a limit of 40 games on your menu. This applies to games that are not 3DS games, so for DSiWare. So this emulator will allow you to have even more than 40 games if you want because it does not play them through the menu. You have to go into the emulator and then play the games. So let's get right into it. What you need for this guide will be a homebrewed 3DS. If you haven't done that, there will be a playlist down below or in the top right where you can click and get started there. There will be a link in the description that will take you to this GitHub page for the latest release of Virtua NES. So when you're here, all you're going to do is click on this Virtua NES 3DS zip file and it should download in the bottom left. And then once you have that downloaded, you can go ahead and pull up your 3DS SD card. Here's what mine looks like. Let's just snap those together. And once you have it open, just go ahead and open the zip file that we downloaded and you should see all of these files. So the method that we are going to do is the CIA file so that you can go straight to this emulator instead of going to, into the homebrew launcher. But if you want the app in your homebrew launcher instead, you can get this 3DSX file right here. But for this guide, we are going to grab this Virtua 3DS.CIA file and we're gonna drag it into our CIAS folder. Now, if you don't have a CIAS folder, just go ahead and create one spelled C-I-A-S. If we go inside, it should just look like this. Double check that you have the CIA file in there, because if you put a different one in, it won't work. And then back on the root of your SD card, we're going to grab the Virtua NES 3DS top PNG file and drag it to the root of your SD card. Once you have those two files on, if you want, you can open this readme text. And then you can get all of this information on the emulator. But we don't need the text file. If you want to read more, go ahead and do so on your own time. But I'm going to leave it as I don't want any text files on my SD card, just to keep it more organized. So once you have the CIA file in your CIS folder like this, and the PNG file on the root of your SD card, you can exit the zip file. And now we need to set up our ROMs. So because I have Twilight Menu set up, it automatically gave me ROMs folders. So it gave me a ROMs folder here with a list of all different consoles. As you can see, we have NES. So if you don't have this, you can go ahead and create a new folder on your SD card. You can call it NES ROMs and just place them in there. But since I already have these folders from the Twilight Menu, I'm just gonna place my NES ROMs there. So I'm gonna go into my ROMs folder find NES and then there we go it says place NES ROMs here so that's what I'm gonna do essentially you can place them in any folder you will be able to select which folder that you open up to play the games on your 3ds I'll show you that later I have some NES games I have right here I'm gonna drag them into the folder and as you can see these are NES files that is the format we want but basically when you have all of that done we are ready to eject our SD card and head over onto the 3DS. I'll meet you over there. All right, and here we go. Once you are on your 3DS or 2DS, we're gonna head over into our FBI software. So start it up. If you don't have this, we set it up in my homebrew video for the 3DS. Once you're here, just click A on SD, go down to CIAS, and then you should see that Virtua NES 3DS.CIA file that we added on. So click A on it, and we're going to go down to install and delete CIA. This will delete it from your SD card once it's already installed onto your 3DS. We don't need it taking up any extra space. So just click A on install and delete CIA. Click A again, and it should install the emulator. It's very quick, so press A when it's done. And it should be empty as it deleted it. So go ahead and hit the home button, and we should have a brand new present. And there we go, Virtua NES. This actually looks really cool. So let's open it up and uh, try to play a game on SD. There we go, as you can see, we have a list of the folders on our SD card. So if you remember, we're going to go down to where we put our ROMs. So in mine, I have a ROMs folder right at the bottom, and then I have a NES folder in here. But if yours is set up differently, just go ahead and find your ROMs folder. 
And here we go, I have my three ROMs right here, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Super Mario Bros, and Super Mario Bros 3. So let's uh, click A and start it up. Let's touch the screen for the menu. So as you can see, you can resume the game here, you can choose different save slots, and if you go all the way down, you can actually take a screenshot, which is really cool. You can use the D-pad to go right to options, controls, you can change them to how you want your buttons mapped, you can add cheats, and you can even select a different ROM if you want to switch the game you're playing. But that's basically it for all your options. So, oops. and if you didn't know, you can't use touch screen for this. <laughs> so let's go ahead and re resume game and try to play it. But basically, that is how you play NES games on your 3DS using the Virtua NES emulator. Again, this allows you to have more than 40 DSiWare games on your 3DS because it does not run it from the 3DS menu. If you do want to find out how to get them on your menu, there is a video down below where you can find out how there. But that is basically it for the video, I hope you found this helpful and if you want more 3DS tutorials, I will have a playlist down below where you can find out more on how to mod your 3DS. If you ran into any issues, please leave a comment down below or you can join my Discord server and of course, please leave a like as it helps my channel out immensely. But anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you have fun playing your NES games. Take care.